In this video, I'm going to try and answer this question. Uh, it's a more than stoichiometry question. The question states that there are five, there's a 5 gram sample of an anhydrous group 2 nitrate, so it's without water. There's no. Uh, so, uh, when that group 2 metal nitrate decomposes, it loses 3.29 grams in mass when heated strongly. So, it's decomposing. A group 2 metal nitrate is decomposing. So the, it's, and remember it's a group 2 metal nitrate so you can, you can uh, create a general equation for that reaction and, and that could be that you could have uh, a group 2 metal nitrate so I've uh, taken X as my group 2 metal having a 2 plus charge so it's a group 2 metal nitrate it's going to decompose it's going to produce a metal oxide uh, an NO2 molecule and an O2 molecule so oxygen gas and NO2 gas are going to be produced and if you balance it uh, half O2 and 2 NO2 so this is your balanced equation uh, these substances are gaseous so anything if, if it loses mass that would mean that the gaseous substances are escaping so 3.29 grams is the mass that is lost that means it's the mass of the gas that has been produced so 3.29 grams is the mass of the gas these are the solid substances and since it's anhydrous, there's no water involved, so no water vapors would be formed. So, so this is your reaction. And based on the information, if it loses 3.29 grams, that means this is the mass that has been lost. So if you initially had a 5 gram sample, so the amount of mass that is uh, still present in solid form, it's going to be 1.71 grams. So I've, uh, I've written down the masses of all the substances, uh, the amount of mass that has been lost, the amount of mass that is still remaining. Now I need to answer, I need to figure out what X is. So the two ways of solving this question, you can either take magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium and put them one by one and see uh, and figure out whether uh, on which particular equation you can come up with four equations, substitute X with each of the four metals and figure out wh which uh, uh, for which reaction these masses are true uh, but the easier method is that if you look at uh, this metal oxide and this metal nitrate you would figure out that the mole ratio of this metal oxide and the mole ratio of this metal nitrate is the same so if you have one mole of metal nitrate one mole of metal oxide would be produced so the amount of moles for this and the amount of moles for this uh, metal oxide they should be equal so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the moles of both but I don't know what X is, so uh, moles is mass over MR, so the mass is given, so the mass is already known, it's 5 grams, so mass divided by the MR, now I don't know what the AR of X is, so that is an unknown, for nitrate it's 14 plus 16 into 3 and that would be multiplied by 2, that gives me 124, so the MR in terms of X is X plus 124, that's the MR of uh, this metal nitrate in terms of X. So mass over MR, that's moles. And I'll do the same for this metal oxide. So the mass is 1.71 grams divided by the MR, which in this case is uh, X plus 16. So it's mass over MR. So these are the moles of the metal oxide and these are the moles of the metal nitrate. And the mole ratio suggests that the moles should be equal. So I will, I will equate the two moles because they're going to be equal. And now I'm going to solve uh, this uh, expression and I'm going to try and solve it for x. So if I try and do that, it's going to be uh, 5x, 5 into x multiplied by 16 into 5 which would be equal to 80. That would be, then I have 1.71 multiplied by x plus 124 into 1.71 and let me use my calculator, it's going to be 124 multiplied by 1.71 and that gives me 212.0 so that gives me 212.04 and again if I get uh, and I'm going to try and solve for x now so it's 5 minus 1.71 that would give me 3.29 x and on the other side it's going to be 212.04 minus 80 which gives me 132.04 so that's 132.04 and solving for x I'm going to divide by 3.29
and that gives me x is approximately equal to 40 so the AR which I took for x is coming out to be 40 and this suggests according to the periodic table that the element is calcium because calcium has an atomic mass of an AR of 40